this is Algebra 1, Chapter 11, Section 3, Dividing Polynomials. Our learning objective, thank goodness, is to divide polynomials. I love it when a plan comes together. Um, I don't want you to write this down, but I definitely want to show you um, when you're dividing by a monomial, so I have 9x to the third minus 6x squared plus 15x divided by 3x squared. What we end up doing is multiplying by the reciprocal. So we have our original first one and we multiply it by 1 over this item. <clears throat> and then everything inside gets divided by 3x squared. So when you do that, you do the, um, when you're dividing exponents, you subtract them. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. X to the third divided by x squared is x to the 1. 2, to, two minus 2 is 0. And x to the 1 minus 2 is negative x. So then you simplify all these down and you get a nice simplified answer. So we're going to do that a couple of times here. So go ahead and write A on your paper. It is 4A to the third plus 10A squared plus 3A. And that is divided by 2A squared. And then when I write it down, I'm going to go to our first step that we saw up here. And I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So in this case, I'm going to multiply by 1 over 2a squared. Then I'm going to distribute this out to each item separated by a plus or a minus. In this case, it's all pluses. It's going to be 4a to the third divided by 2a squared plus 10a squared divided by 2a squared plus 3a divided by 2a squared. So everything gets divided by 2a squared. And now we just simplify. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. a to the third divided by a squared is a to the 3 minus 2, which is a to the 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. a squared divided by a squared is a to the 0. 3 divided by 2 is, that doesn't simplify, so I'm going to keep him. And then a to the 1 minus 2 is a to the negative 1. And we simplify that down one more time. This gives us 2a plus anything to the 0 power is 1, so that is 5. And then this, when I have a negative exponent, I write it. And the denominator has a positive exponent, so this is 3 over 2a. Alright, let's do c together to make sure we got it. So I've got 12c to the fourth plus 18c squared plus 9c divided by 6c. So I'm going to rewrite all that. 9c. And I'm going to say times 1 over 6c. And I'm going to distribute it out to each item. And I get 12c to the 4th over 6c. 18c squared over 6c. And 9c over 6c. And I simplify it even further. 12 divided by 6 I know is 2. C to the 4th power divided by C to the 1 power. 4 minus 1 is 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. C squared divided by C to the 1 is 2 minus 1 or C. 9 divided by 6, well 3 goes into 9 3 times and 3 goes into 6 twice. 
So we want to have three halves again, and c to the 0. Let's write that in the most simplest form. 2c to the third plus 3c plus 3 halves. All right, dividing by a binomial, we are going to do some long division. So let's highlight the steps I want you. Um, so I'll highlight what I want you to write down. So write down dividing by a binomial. Write down step one. Begin the long division process. Write down step two. Repeat the process. So if you look, our divisor is uh, 3d squared minus 4d plus 13. That goes underneath, if you look here, this value goes underneath the dividing sign. And then what I'm dividing by goes out in front. So what you do is you go, how, what do I have to multiply d by to get 3d squared? So I definitely need a 3, and I need one more d. And then when I multiply 3d by d, I get 3d squared. But here's the sad part. I have to multiply this 4 plus 3 by the 3d as well. So 3 times 3d is 9d. Then I change the sign. And subtract. So negative 4d minus 3d is negative 12, 13d, sorry. And then 3d squared minus 3d squared is 0. <clears throat> so now I start the process over again. I go, how do I make d how do I make d look like negative 13 d? So I go, oh, I just need to multiply by negative 13, and they do. So they take this negative 13 d, and they go multiply by negative 13. So you get negative 13 times d is negative 13 d, and then you get 3 times negative 13 is negative 39. And then you subtract. So you change the sign here. And you change the sign here. So negative 13d plus 13d is 0. And 13 plus 39 is 52. So our remainder is 52. And take a look at how we deal with our remainder. We take our remainder and we divide it by our divisor. So I didn't want you to write any of that down. I just explain it. So let's take a second and do this problem here. So I'm going to have an m plus 1 divided by 2m squared minus m minus 3. So I need to know, what should I multiply m by to get 2m squared? I know I need a 2, and I know I need another m. And you always want to put it above the term it matches. So if this is, if I had an m squared, then it would end up over here. If I had just a number and not an m, it would end up over here. So you want, want to match it with the term it goes with. So I've decided that if I multiply 
m by 2m, I would get 2m squared. And then I'm going to multiply 1 by 2m to get 2m. But I can't leave this poor 1 by himself. He's, if m is going to get multiplied by the 2m, our 1 has to get a 2. Then I'm going to change the sign, boop, boop, both items. 2m squared minus 2m squared is 0. Negative m minus 2 more m's is negative 3. I bring down my minus 3 just like I would in long division. And now I go m times what will give me negative 3m. Thankfully, it's minus 3. So then I go negative 3 times m is negative 3m. And I go negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. I'm going to change the sign of both of those. And lo and behold, I have remainder 0. So my answer really is the 2m minus 3. No remainder. Now we're going to talk about all of our weird scenarios. So that's the basic of it. Um, when you are doing a dividing problem and you go to set it up, so I got a Q minus 1 out here and so I got Q to the 4th if you look, there's no q to the third. So when our exponents don't decrease, we have to add the zero. So when we're doing dividing, we notice we have a term missing. We have to put in a zero, a placeholder for it. When my dividend has a missing term, Add the missing term with a coefficient of zero. Move this to town. Okay, so when we do that, we go, I have to multiply Q by Q to the third to get Q to the fourth. So when I do, I get Q to the fourth minus Q to the third. Change the sign. Do the math. Zero Q to the third plus Q to the third is Q to the third. Q to the fourth minus Q to the fourth is zero. Bring down. Q squared. Q times what will give me Q to the third? Mm, how about Q squared? So Q times Q squared is Q to the third. Negative 1 times Q squared is negative Q squared. Change the signs. Negative plus. And I get Q squared plus Q squared is 2q squared. Bring down the q. So these are tall problems, so make sure you save yourself enough room tall ways to do the problem. Um, to get q to look like 2q squared, I am going to multiply by 2q. And I get 2q squared. Negative 1 times 2q is negative 2q. Change the signs. Do the math. So this is 3q. This comes right on down. It's a negative 3. And I go q 
times what will give me 3 cubed? That's 3. Times negative 1 is negative 3. Oh, thank goodness, no remainder. Change the sign. My remainder is 0, so my answer is Q cubed plus Q squared plus 2 cubed plus 3. All right, now let's look at A. A is all mumble jumble. So when you get a mumble jumble, you want to make sure you put it in highest degree first. So in this case, I would put my y squared minus 10y minus 7. And then in this case, I want my 3y to go first plus 4. All right, so when I do this, what do I multiply 3y by to get 6y squared? I definitely need a 2 and another y. So when I multiply 3y by 2y, I get 6y squared. And when I multiply 2y by 4, I get 8y. Change the sign. And now, 6y squared minus 6y squared is 0. Negative 10y minus 8y is negative 18y. And by ring down, Ms. Del minus 7. And then 3y times what will give me negative 18y? Well, definitely negative, definitely 6. So then we multiply negative 6 times 3y. It's negative 18y. And negative 6 times 4 is negative 24 change the signs and this is 0 8, negative 18y plus 18y is 0 negative 7 plus 24 is 17 so my remainder is 17 over 3y plus 1 so my total answer is 2y minus 6 plus 17 over 3y plus 4.